SSL Orchestrator uh, version 9 now supports running the F5 Secure Web Gateway as a service on the same platform. Uh, this allows you to control user access based on uh, authenticated users or groups, uh, URL filtering categories, and a variety of other things. Uh, first of all, the Secure Web Gateway module has to be provisioned on the Big IP system. You can uh, go over to Configurate under Access and Secure Web Gateway. We're using this uh, corporate URL filter here. And if I click on it to view it more, you can see that there's a variety of categories here. Uh, set to Allow or Block. Here's some of the uh, security related categories. Uh, but for our purposes, uh, demonstration here. I'm going to have uh, shopping and and sports. These are set to block. So we can test with them and we can test with others uh, to show the allow. Now if we go to look at the, uh, the policy, the per request policy uh, is where you create the, the policy for Secure Web Gateway. It first checks for the protocol, make sure it's HTTP. And if the content is HTTP, it performs a category lookup based on the HTTP URI. And when it gets a result for that, it also performs uh, response analytics. So it can check for malicious content and pass that information along to the URL filter. And the URL filter in this case, you can see is the corporate URL filter we were looking at before. And if the category is, is in the allow area for the website, it, the request will be allowed. Uh, if not, it will be rejected and it will be denied. So let's go ahead and see how you would uh, create or configure this in SSL Orchestrator. I already have a topology set up, so all we have to do is add the service. You'll notice there's an F5 tab, and F5 Secure Web Gateway uh, is there. Okay, you'll notice here that we have access to these access profiles, and there's a couple different options here in terms of uh, setting the scope uh, and a named scope. Different components of the Big IP have visibility into uh, these different access profiles. Now, right now, we only ha have the one access profile, so it doesn't matter for this example, but uh, it is important when you get to the situation where you have multiple profiles, you might have authentication profiles, and you might need to specify whether or not uh, authenticated user access should be shared between one or the other. But for now, we'll just set this to profile. The per request policy, this is the per request policy uh, that I just showed you. Go ahead and save that. And we'll go into the service chain and we will move it into the service chain. and deploy. So this allows the Secure Web Gateway uh, module to run as a service inside the SSL Orchestrator service chain. So let's go and look at what this is like uh, on a client computer. Here we have f5.com. Okay, you'll notice that uh, this is verified by flabs, f5labs.com. Not your typical certificate authority. So this is actually uh, being intercepted by, uh, by the SSL orchestrator and performing the decryption technology. Because you can see it's also verified by f5labs.com. Okay, so uh, SSL decryption is working. 
Let's take a look at, remember I said uh, certain categories were going to be blocked. So if I try and go to Yahoo Sports, I'm immediately told that access to this page is blocked. Category is sports, I can give it a reference number that I can refer back to. And if I want to go to a shopping site like Amazon, it's also blocked in the category indicated here. This is just a uh, a quick example of how easy it is to set up the Secure Web Gateway as a service in SSL Orchestrator. Uh, thank you for your time, and that's all for now.